That was a pretty amateur tape job, but it it helped. It really helped. So I'm gonna post this video about the same time that I post the video of me before the training. So I've been out here for about, I don't know, 40 something, 41, 42 minutes training the entire time. Uh, so just to video chronicle my progress on this journey of fitness, health, and weight loss, uh, and just self-improvement and self-betterment. I will say this, I'm pleased with my performance. I did a pretty good job simply from the fact that I can't even tell you the last time I went running. I don't remember, it's been that long. Um, and I'm not talking about the treadmill because I, I ran on the treadmill like six, seven months ago uh, and I was doing that like every day for like two weeks straight and then school and then work took that away from me and then COVID-19 so I couldn't use the treadmill anymore. But I've there's no excuses because you can always come out here to a park, treadmill or gym closure or whatever. So I use this local park and uh, this is I come up here all the time, but when I do come up here I don't run. I do push-ups, I do dips, I do calisthenics, jumping jacks, stuff like that. Or I'll like run in place. But to run on the track, I'll walk it. But today I ran, so it felt good. It felt like being in the Marine Corps again. So definitely a good feeling. I wore the appropriate gear, the wicking shirts. I got my headphones, I got my water, and I taped my knee and I'm wearing sneakers and tennis shoes. So honestly, I did, I think I did 10 laps, but uh, I think a mile is for one eighth of a track. It was, uh, one, one lap is one eighth, I think, I believe, of a mile. So, I don't know, I did 1.2 miles, or no, no actually 1.4 miles. Because I did, I did 11 laps. So, I don't know, 1.3, I don't know, something like that. I did a good amount of laps, and I'm proud of that. 11 laps is good. And I, I sprinted, I ran, and I walked, but when I walked, I fast walked. So the, the fast walking was basically walking at a, at a pace that kept my heart rate up. So very, very fast pace. So if I stopped running, I would just walk as fast as I could for about half of the track and then run out the rest of the track. And if I was running, I was running. If I was sprinting, I was given maximum effort, like V2O stuff. And so every time I would hit the lap button on my phone, I would press the button and it would I would lap myself so I did that 11 times so I got 11 laps and like I said one lap is one eighth of a mile so 11 11 laps it's like 1.3 miles or whatever and I completed all that in about 30 minutes or so I'd have to check I have to check the thing and I can be more accurate with you so my time wasn't fast I wasn't blazing because reality is a mile, I should be able to do that in seven minutes. Six and a half to seven minutes. That's the standard that I that I used to set for myself. Um, when I was in the Marine Corps, the fastest I ever ran a three mile run, the, the PFT, was 19 minutes and 24 seconds. That was out of boot camp. I was 150 pounds, same height, but uh, now I'm 230 pounds from 150 pounds that's like more than double my weight at boot camp. So running in 1924, three miles, which was pretty fast. It wasn't the fast, we had some guys in boot camp that should have been the Olympics. One guy in particular uh, who was in our, our uh, he was in second battalion. He wasn't in my, my platoon, but he was in our battalion. He was in our sister company, sister platoon, whatever. Um, he, did, he did three miles in 15 minutes. And that guy was, flying through that course 15 15 and some change tall white guy i remember he was about 6'2 and he was a recruit 
probably a year or two older than me. I was 18. He was probably 19 or 20. He already had a little bit of life experience. So he must have been a runner in high school or maybe he went to college. I don't know. But that guy, 15, he ran three miles in like 1530. Whew. Holler if you hear me, 2067. Because uh, that was back in 1985, summer of 1985. I spent my entire summer in boot camp. We started in June. We didn't graduate until September. September 23rd. Wait, what was our? No, September 13th was our graduation date. Friday the 13th. I'll never forget that. So we started in June, ended in September. 13 weeks of fun and sun. But anyways, back to this today. Uh, I will say this. I'm pleased with the outcome. I pushed myself. I don't feel ashamed at all. Like I don't feel like, oh, I could have done better. I did a really good job for somebody who hasn't run and like, like I said, I did the treadmill, but other than the treadmill, running on a track, I don't remember the last time I did that. It's been years. So it was a good, good workout. I definitely got my heart rate up. And at the end, I did a couple of extra laps for cool down that I didn't clock. That was just a cool down phase. So ultimately, I was keeping my heart rate going for about 37, 38 minutes maybe. So a good portion of that was running and, and fast walking and sprints. And just main thing was get my heart rate up and maintain it. And I did that for at least 35 minutes. And that's what I always tell you guys to do. So I have to keep my own standard. If I'm going to tell you guys what to do, I got to do it. So the, the thing about that is get your heart rate up, do a, a warm up five minutes, and then sustain that heart rate for about 30 minutes and then do a five minute cool down. There's your 35 minutes. So you can go 35 to 40 minutes and you will burn calories. You will get the benefits of getting your blood flowing. Uh, you will see results eventually, but you gotta get after it. I say, me personally, start every other day, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then maybe another 20 minutes in the morning on Saturday, and then get to the point where you're doing every day, like, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, take the weekends off, relax. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, get after it again, same standard. 35 to 40 minutes of keeping that heart rate up, whether it's jumping jacks or running place or some type of calisthenics, burpees. As long as it's 35 to 40 minutes of a high heart rate, it's the same as riding a bike or swimming or running. I like running, I just personally like it, but Get your heart rate up, and maintain it, stay up there for 40 minutes and uh, do that every day. Once you get up, work yourself up to it. Again, this is just my advice. I'm not a doctor. I just have a whole lot of years of working out and uh, I enjoy it. And now I'm glad I'm back onto it at a higher level because this is really who I am. And I'm going to lose those 30 pounds. I'm, I'm 230, I'm trying to get down to about 2, 205, I don't know. But doing this, I'll do it. You guys can follow along that journey. That gut is going to go away. Staff Sergeant Calhoun, out.